Good day beautiful people, welcome to another entry to Max's journal. I came across something that I felt would be good enough to, to share with you. Understanding the strength about working with people. I don't know if you've ever come across this in movies, documentaries, books, but you see how often rich people do not work alone. And that is just a basic, a very simple tool that you can understand that you can basically use this to understand that Yes, you learn by mistakes, but it can be a whole lot easier if you can learn from other people. And that's where, for example, when I mean having people around you, it doesn't necessarily have to do something physical, a physical sort of presence. Obviously, it's good to have a mentor you can personally meet face to face, or an accountant, or a lawyer, or a, a, a physical trainer, personal trainer. It's obviously in the field you want to grow in any sort of pillar, health, wealth and love. It's also understandable that not everyone has the luxury to have a mentor. You know, like, it's easy to say that uh, I can't do it because Warren Buffett is not here to mentor me. Well, good luck, it's not really going to happen. Or you can't be better at basketball because you can't get Michael Jordan to get, get a call with you. Well, I don't think that's really going to happen. What is possible, though, is to find these mentors through other sort of mediums. In that instance, books, great books about uh, Michael Jordan, uh, with Robert Lesby, um, for example, and then there is obviously uh, Tap Dancing to Work with Warren Buffett. There's a lot of uh, books which you can use to your advantage to understand how they have made the mistakes. What I would recommend is see which sort of field you want to obviously scale. Obviously, that's really why you wouldn't be here in the first place, but see who has made it. You know, who you see as people that drives you to get up in the morning and get to do what they've done for yourself. And then just investigate what books do they have. I was actually recently told that I have the same personality traits of, believe it or not, Jerry Seinfeld. Uh, Seinfeld? Uh, Jerry Seinfeld? Yeah, guys will do that, you know, because guys want to be in charge of every physical situation. <laughs> guys, that's why guys like tools building things, working on things, and we like being around other guys that are building, fixing, or working on things. <laughs> Have you ever noticed if a guy's out in his driveway working on something with tools, how all the other men in the neighborhood just come wandering out of the house like zombies? And... Your blessing in life is when you find the torture you're comfortable with. And to be honest, I have no idea what do I have in common. Um, but nevertheless, I, I'm looking at seeing what books they have or he has, um, and maybe you're starting to watch his shows. I have never watched any of his shows. If someone gives you a clue as to what your personality traits are like, who you are like, that has obviously I understand. If I know his name, if he is known, he has done something great for the world. So I would say to myself, I, I, I'm going to investigate. But to yourself, you should say just look around, see who you are, look who who you look up to, and just investigate on what they have available for you to basically learn from. And from then, you will basically just get the ball rolling. But obviously, reach out on LinkedIn, reach out to people that are doing really well. It's not going to cost you anything. Just send a quick message saying, "Hey, I'm." looking at learning a lot in the field that you seem to be a bit more of an expert than I am or a whole lot more of an expert than I am. Would you mind having a chat with me, a phone call, an email correspondence or you know, pen pals? It really is about you taking the first step. So to that I would say just get out there. It's, it's not going to hurt you. You basically, it's exactly the same as what I mentioned previously. It's about sales. You know, like it's really about just selling yourself to those people to let them know that you are willing to learn. And they will feel humble about it because remember like the law of 33, you have someone below you and they know because they have come further, they understand that it is part of the process. You have to help others in order to help yourself and then other people will help you get there. So remember that there's always someone better than you but there's always someone looking up at you, looking up to you and get out there to make sure that you are available for them. So with that being said, I will uh, encourage you to reach out to more people, see what sort of aspect they can help you with and yeah just don't be shy you never know where your next mentor is going to be thank you very much for watching with that um, with that being said thank you very much remember stay fulfilled in what you do just live life to the fullest and don't be shy people are there to help you if you let them know that you are looking for help thank you very much thank you very much for watching bye for now